Hello, hello everyone. Please ignore my hair. <laughs> Happy Monday. It is currently 9.30 at night and you guys know that this is the time that I can actually sit down and get creative. I don't know if I said this before but it's becoming really hard for me to do any kind of computer work at night before Luca was born and even whenever he was small I could still work at night and do computer work and things that needed a lot of concentration but now I can't I don't know if it's because of the kids and being busy I'm just tired at night or after 30 you just I don't know hit a switch and something happening you can't do anything that requires concentration at night I have no idea but anywho I wanted to start vlogging because I haven't even edited the last vlog that you guys seen I think I'm gonna do that tomorrow um, but I wanted to start vlogging because I'm starting two new projects and oh my goodness this lighting is horrendous I can't even with my life with this light can I make it any lighter Ooh, that's way too light okay that's a little bit better <laughs> I think yes so I have two new patterns that I need to start working on for the next couple of months and they are knitting patterns which I am so excited about because I haven't designed a knitting pattern in so long and you guys if you are following me just now you have probably seen just crochet patterns but I love knitting patterns and knitting just as much as crochet you could never make me pick knitting or crochet it's like picking between my kids I just can't do that I love both a lot and the fact that I have been making crochet patterns a lot lately it's not just because I wanted to whenever I get an idea in my head I just do it and that idea might be crochet or knitting and I have also been making um, a few patterns for lion brand kits and sometimes they will ask you if it's crochet or knit and it happened that the last couple of months have been crochet so with that being said I'm doing another two pattern kits for lion brand and they are knitting and I am so excited but I need to show you the whole process because this is real so first of all i'm gonna show you the yarn i'm gonna show you or i'm gonna explain to you the pattern idea that i have and the stitches that i am currently swatching and tell you a little bit of my process my design process when picking stitches and designing these garments okay so the first thing that we have in here i have my kids toys in here i have my yarn they sent me the yarn which i'm super excited i haven't worked with this yarn before so i am super excited this is kubu and it is a light uh, number three and I got this gorgeous color that I picked I've never seen this yarn in person before so I just had to go off of the colors that you can see on their website then I got this nice cream and last and this beautiful beige and last, I got this very nice um, rust orange or burnt orange, which this color palette is everything. I really like it. 
and I shared it to you guys on stories and somebody said, oh, that looks like a um, country Christmas color palette. And I was like, mm, that's not the vibe that I want to give. So for this pattern, I'm going to remove this one. So then I have this very nice and muted color palette, which I think it's going to be really nice. And I'm making a summer cardigan with this color palette and this um, cakes and the other option was to remove the green and have this one which is also so so pretty but I've been using this color a lot and also mustard so I thought that maybe I can change things a little and do this which I feel like this green it's a little bit more neutral and muted than the other one so this is for a summer cardigan and I forgot to tell you guys but Kubu is 51% cotton and 49% rayon I don't know how to say that so don't come at me please rayon or rayon I don't know from bamboo so cotton and bamboo and it is super super soft so I'm really excited to uh, use it and make the cardigan and then next I have um, color theory which is a hundred percent acrylic and it's number four worsted weight and I chose this beautiful um, this one it's called peacock so yeah it's like a very nice color it's a very that's a very good name for the color so with this one i'm making a shawl so in a very like a summer lazy shawl and i was swatching a couple of stitches and i am a little bit confused so i swatched one for the shawl which i actually really like for the cardigan <laughs> It's this one right here, and it's like a very holy, meshy um, stitch pattern. It is so pretty, so simple to make, which I love because I'm making a cardigan, and obviously the cardigan is going to have multiple sizes, and when you are making multiple sizes, you have to consider how difficult your pattern is going to be in order to accommodate and make multiple sizes so after I swatched this one which I thought it was gonna be for the shawl I'm like I kind of like it for the cardigan so I need to swatch it with the bamboo or the cotton yarn the kubu yarn to see if I like how it looks with that yarn and the other day yesterday or the day before I swatched <laughs> A couple of stitches or stitch, stitch combinations for the um, uh, cardigan, but now I'm thinking maybe I should use that for the shawl <laughs> because it's got different stitch combinations, and that might be better for the shawl because I don't have to make it bigger or smaller, it's just gonna be that, so I don't have to calculate different stitches for different sizes if that makes sense. So, this is the stitch. Or the sample that I was making for the cardigan which I know it looks so pretty for a cardigan but I don't know oh, I'm so confused I don't know what to do and in here you can see this one is longer than this one and this one is longer than the one up here so I was trying to see how long I wanted the, that stitch to be and I think I like either this one which is the shortest one or the second one I feel like this one is just way too big and I don't want my cardigan to be getting caught in stuff so I'm gonna discard that last one and then um, I did a couple of stitches in here I did some eyelets and then the stitch in here and I don't know if I want some garter stitch in between these pieces in here I think I might do it because it kind of makes the stitch 
look better than just plain i don't know i'm still trying to figure that out and see how i want to do it and then on the on, in other notes my poor blanket that you guys i don't know if you can see it it's sitting right there my poor blanket the riverbed chunky version has been waiting for me to finish it for the longest time i honestly don't even remember when i showed you guys that i was making it and it is still in that basket i still haven't had the time to finish it and i feel so anxious to finish it but i have so many other things that i need to get done before that that <sighs> i i don't know but anyways already 12 minutes talking to you guys so Monday keeping it real over here we had a very um, crazy night last night everybody is already in bed I think it's like 20 to 8 at night everybody's in bed and I'm gonna go to bed too <laughs> super super early but I wanted to show you how the shawl it's looking like and the design that I decided to make I was able to work a little bit on these pattern but the time it's not catching up to me i still have plenty of time to make it but i want to get a lot of i want to get it done hopefully this week as soon as possible because i have a lot of other things going on that i need to do and just that the sooner i finish it the better and i also haven't edited the video the vlog for you guys the vlog for this cardigan I think I'm gonna edit it tomorrow, Tuesday, so then you guys can see it on Wednesday. And that way, there is a video this week. I'm struggling to keep, I'm struggling to upload a video a week. That's always my goal. Sometimes I just really genuinely don't know what to post when I don't have a pattern or a tutorial. So I would actually really really appreciate if you're watching and you take a second to comment in this video what's what you like to watch when you click on a video what do you expect or what do you want to see what do you enjoy the most watching vlogs long vlogs showing the things that i have been showing you guys my creative process or do you like um i don't know craft shows vlogs just tell me anything that you'd like to see so i can have an idea of what kind of content i can continue creating it's getting a little bit chilly so i'm gonna wear my cardigan since i had it here um the only thing that i'm noticing of this yarn this is color theory i like it a lot it is super soft i really really do like it um it was really fun to work with but it's already kind of peeling and i haven't been using it that that much i mean i've been using it a few times but i don't know if you can tell let me see maybe if i focus in here you guys can see but it's already kind of like peeling you can see it in there and yeah i don't know obviously the side because it rubs against the body so that will always peel faster than not peel like pill peel pill i don't know how to say um faster than the top but still like i don't know you can see it in here i don't know if you can see it anyways let me show you what i decided to do <laughs> you guys i struggle with these every single time so every time that i create like a new stitch combination and i like it um i want to make everything with that pattern and that can get 
boring for people to continue seeing the same thing over and over again and I don't know why I do this I'm like oh my gosh this is so cute I want to make this I want to make this and I want to make this and I want to create everything in that pattern so I can have it and anyways I created I made this and I was like oh my gosh but I also want this stitch on a cardigan so okay I might do it but that's it I always do that though I always think that I want to make everything with that stitch pattern but wait oh it's because I haven't finished the row but this is how it's looking like this is gonna be a nice summery lacy shawl and I love the color and I love how it's looking like it's the same yarn as the cardigan it's color theory by lion brand and I finally went with the eyelets and the drop stitch so pretty I think that it looks really cute and it really gives that very lacy look because I'm doing it so often I'm keeping like a couple of rows of um, garter stitch in between the two so you have like a little rest moment where you can wait I'm just getting distracted because I can I can hear Luca he's still not fully asleep he's with his dad but okay back to the vlog my boy wanted his mommy so mommy to the rescue like I said this is the show looking cute super light and airy I am using a six millimeters I started with the 6.5 millimeters but I was using my clover which is my favorite set of knitting needles I think I have it in here so I was using the 6.5 millimeter which is the original size that I wanted to but making shawls and things that have a lot of stitches when I want to go faster and this is one of my little tricks is that you need to have metal needles and I have two sets one is this one by Knit Pro and then I have my other favorite one which is the Addy uh, interchangeable knitting needles but I cannot for the life of me find my cables so this set and the Addy set don't have a 6.5 millimeter so all I had was a 6 so I had to go down a 6 rather than going up to, a, to an 8 because that's like a big jump and this is only 0.5 different so yeah this is how it's looking like super cute again love it and I might turn it into a cardigan later I mean I'm not going to turn this one into a cardigan this is going to be a shawl I think I might make it after as a, card a cardigan a summer cardigan because I think it looks just really cute and airy so yeah that's it for today it's still light out it's almost eight but i'm gonna go to bed because i can't with my life today i need to rest and hopefully i'll have a better day working day better in general tomorrow <laughs> See a fussy yarn? Yeah. See, is this fussy yarn, mommy? Fussy? Yeah. Is it fussy yarn? So I went to that store this morning because I couldn't find my cables for my knitting needle set. A very expensive mistake and I looked everywhere downstairs. I'm sure they're somewhere, like they they has to be somewhere. I didn't take them anywhere like they have to be in the house but I couldn't find them and I don't want to be wasting time trying to look for them because everywhere I think they could possibly have been they're not so anyways I went to the Q store this morning to get cables and this set of five quarts I think 
It was $60. So yeah, <laughs> very expensive, but I really like these knitting needles. So I got it and I also got a little row counter because I didn't, I, I don't know where I put the other one. Anyways, we have company. Hi. Hi. <laughs> you want me to carry you? Mm -hmm. um, my baby is sleeping and this little guy is watching Llama Llama. So I'm going to take the time to take a few pictures of my shawl. I haven't progressed as much as I would have hoped, but I have been really busy. So I'm going to try to do as much as I can now, take a few pictures and post them on Instagram. And yeah, that's what we're going to do now really hot out. Really hot out. Yeah. Okay. Get down, buddy. Wee. much later in the day I did get a few things so I made a few purchases I found the Della Q bags in stock the snap bags in stock and I got a couple of those because I'm super excited to have new of those bags they're super handy and I love having them and they also had a really nice bag like you can tell like a beautiful quality i'm gonna obviously show you once i get it but it's just a very nice bag <laughs> and i probably shouldn't have got it but it was just too pretty i wanted it so i treated myself to that bag um what else did i get i got that okay so i am really anxious not anxious the anxious is not the word i I'm very antsy <laughs> to finish projects, to finish things. So I just want my hands to move and make stuff. I need to finish the shawl that I show you guys. And then I need to make the cardigan that I also show you guys. I mean the stitch that I'm going to use. But that one is for July. So in between this shawl and that cardigan, I want to finish Isa's cardigan. The novice sweater novice cardigan and i'm gonna use the proper yarn this time i know i should finish the one that i was making but i made a mistake and i'm gonna show you guys after what is what i did and i am going to use the proper yarn and start it and start a new cardigan and finish it really ho hopefully soon because she needs it i also want to make one for luca and luca requested a plushie and i want to make it and i feel so bad that i can just leave everything and make it for him because i have deadlines and stuff like that and i think it what he asked would also be cute as a pattern so i'm not gonna spoil anything yet but i want to make it and hopefully have a pattern if you have if you guys have little kids i think that would be a really cute gift um but yeah i have my project bags in here i want to get started on things and start moving and doing things because i really want to finish all the projects that i have in mind i also need to get my ipads right there and yeah i'm just going to make myself a tea and start knitting as fast as i can got my tea and before i let you guys go i need to show you the buttons that i got for isa's cardigan i'm obsessed with mugs but i don't have space to have more mugs so I have a deal in here that every time that I get a new mug, I have to throw one old out or donate it. Yeah, I haven't done that in, in a little bit, so... <laughs> but before I let you go, because I just seen them, 
um, they're from Etsy I will leave the link of the Etsy shop that I got them from it's this girl from Quebec and they are beautiful so now I know where I'm going to start getting my buttons for my handmade pieces so let me show you I'm not quite sure but it looks like it's I think it's resin the material but look how pretty they are in a flower shape and this one has I don't know I don't know if you can see because they're so small I think they are um, maybe 15 millimeters and this one has a little bit of brown in here and they are all slightly different from each other but they're so so pretty and you can see they shine in the light they're so pretty and she has so so many and they are super affordable surprise 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 because they're handmade so yeah so I got this little bag of buttons for Issa's cardigan and yeah I thought I'd show you they're super cute and now I'm gonna continue working see you guys tomorrow <laughs> Hello everyone, it's the weekend and we are at my in-laws. We come pretty much every weekend because it's fun, the kids have a lot of fun in here, they love being with their grandparents and I get to work, we get to go out in a few dates and it's just fun. So right now Isa sleeping. I don't know if you can hear the background noise. It's her sound machine. Uh, Isa's taking her nap, and Luca is outside playing with um, his friend, and uh, the grandma is there with them. So I am currently working on Isa's sweater, and I want to show you the progress. And I'm also working on the shawl. So it's been I've been going back and forth between the two projects just so I change a little bit and I switch things around and I don't get bored with the same project that happens to me a lot if I'm constantly working on one project I get bored really quickly so I need to switch especially um, it's better if I do switch from knitting to crochet but this happened that they're both a knitting project but it's they're different so yeah let me show you how it's looking like see if I can put you up here I'm also watching um oops I'm also watching YouTube and I just love watching watching vlogs i'm watching tony from tl yarn craft right now i love her videos so i'm just watching that but this is how um isa's cardigan it's looking like but i'm almost done with that i just a few tension <laughs> mistakes in here that you can see when you see these little lines that means there has been a different in the difference in the tension so i feel like that's gonna go away most mostly one, once I block the cardigan but I am almost done with that and then I can separate the body and the sleeves and just work on the body so I'm pretty happy that I started it again because it was just not good the other one I mean it's good but she it's not gonna be able to use it now so I'm working on these pretty happy with my progress and I have also my shawl in here which this one it's, it's it's getting there it's getting there i'm excited i might need i'm almost done with my third skein that now it's not a skein it's a mess 
I'm hoping that it's not gonna get terribly tangled, but um, that's the third, and I think I might need a fourth. This is how long it's getting, and I just love it. I love the texture, I love the stitches, I love everything about it. I think it's gonna be really cute, but when I put it on the back, I still have, like it still needs length, look. So usually you wanna have it as long as your arm, or at least that's what I like, if not longer, right? So we like it maybe a little bit longer than your arm. So the other one goes here. So I still have quite a bit to go. So maybe another skein or even two, ouch. And I also love the width really nice so yeah it's coming along definitely taking a little bit longer than what i was anticipating but i still have some time and i'm almost there so fingers crossed that i can finish it this weekend and then i can move on with next projects so yeah that's what i've been doing Again, it's the weekend, so I hope you guys are having a nice day. Everyone, happy Monday. I love the start of a new week. <laughs> and I went to Michael's today. This is not yarn related. But I went to Michael's and I got a bunch of things that I needed to make a few souvenirs and stuff like that for my mother-in-law's bachelorette party. And I was making a few things last night it takes longer than what i expected <clears throat> but i definitely ruined a couple of things so i went to michael's and i grabbed a few things more than a few things i want to show you um if you have been following me for a while you know that i don't only love knitting and crochet i love all type of crafts i just love everything if i could have a room with everything that I like to make it would be pretty big <laughs> and obviously knitting and crochet it's my job but I just like everything so I enjoy making these things um, I'm gonna show you I'm gonna start by showing you what I was trying to make last night so I'm trying to make uh, tote bags and the ones that I got I got I have my Cricut machine and I got the heat press but I'm not an expert at doing that so I think I might have ruined one or two totes <laughs> trying to make it let me show you how they look like and if you do this if you have any tips I would love to know so I can learn but the first thing I got um, I made these totes this one says fiesta siesta tequila repeat and I thought it looks super cute I really like it then I made this guy which I also think it's super cute but I did something with the heat press and it's definitely not sticking as it should like there are some pieces that are coming off so this one unfortunately it's gonna have to go and it's a shame because this was a good tote like it had like the square bottom and stuff so the first thing I got was some yarn I got this pretty yarn from Michaels to make a teeny tiny blanket I definitely don't need three skeins but I got three because they're too pretty and I'm making a teeny tiny blanket for Isa's dolls so I think that's gonna be really cute for her also she can play with the blanket put it on her dolls and I make videos for Michael so <clears throat> this is gonna be for one of their videos and I love this yarn so much and the colors are so cute this one is a category 5 bulky weight and it's called, does it, does it even have a name? It's called Bulky Twist. And it's just so, so pretty. I love the colors. So I'm making these for that video for Isa. Then I got all the heat transfer papers that I needed. 
and I'm super excited because they were all on sale and Cricut stuff it's never on sale so that was that was amazing so I got that and I also got this one from this other brand I don't know which one's better I don't know which one is gonna work best I'm gonna try hopefully I don't have to try too many times and ruin them because they're pretty expensive but I got a bunch because the theme that we're doing it's like tequila um, this night orangey so these are the things I got for the totes and I have some other vinyls too because we have cups and I'm gonna personalize the cups and I don't know if you guys know this about me but I love sewing back in the day when I started my Spanish channel I started with sewing videos believe it or not and then I switched to knitting and crochet because I you know I enjoyed that a lot but I love sewing so I got a bunch of supplies that I needed because I thought that it would also be super cute if I can make little bags and I'm gonna show you the bags that I'm gonna make I bought this pattern from this girl a little size but it looks something like this super cute and it's I'm going to link it down below if you sew or you like you're interested uh, it's a very inexpensive pattern and I'm excited to start making it and then I went to the sewing store the sewing store the fabric store and I got um, these interfacing which is like a little piece of fabric that you put in between the layers to make it fluffy and nice and more sturdy in it so it has more shape than if it was just fabric so I got a bunch of these for the bags don't ask me where I'm getting all the time to make these things but I'm gonna try and then I got a cute print for the bags so I got these checker prints in four different colors and I think they look so cute I think they're gonna look super cute so I'm gonna make them I don't know when but I'm gonna show you guys when I'm done if you are interested on in that and then I got a bunch of zippers because I have some zippers but I don't know if they are this length and I also don't know if they're the colors that I want so I didn't want to have to go back to the fabric store so I got a bunch of zippers for my bags good morning everyone it is go time I have the house to myself so I just took a shower got ready and I cleaned out the dining table and I'm gonna start getting everything ready so I can make the bags I can't wait to show you how they turn out even though it's not knitting or crochet related I know most of you guys that are here are also crafty so you know we love anything handmade <laughs> all set up and ready to go I'm super excited I have my machine in here um, this is the one I've had had for so many years and I still have it I'm not going to upgrade anytime soon because I'm not taking sewing like extremely serious. This is just a hobby, not my work or anything. Um, not the same as my knitting and crochet tools, you know, that's my job. So I will invest in materials and tools and stuff like that. But this is just a hobby. So <laughs> I had that machine for quite a while. And I got everything in here that I need. My pattern, that's the one I bought. I will link it in the description below if you guys are interested. But I have all the things in here. I need to assemble the pieces, put them together, and then I can start sewing.
Well, it is already six o'clock and I have done two bags. <laughs> Again, it's taken me way longer than what I expected, but it's okay. I just wish I did it sooner. Um, but I have all the pieces cut out. I just have to assemble them now. I don't think it's gonna take that long now that all the pieces are assembled. I mean that all the pieces are cut out and ready to be sewn so that's all I have to do but I have two bags done that I want to show you guys um, so I have the two bags that I want to show you guys to so you can see in daylight how they look like and yeah and I think that's gonna be the end of the vlog so then I can go ahead and finish that and take a couple of pictures hopefully edit this video tomorrow so yeah if you guys are seeing this video tomorrow I'm very proud of myself <laughs> but let me show you the bags so this is bag number one look how cute I ended up adding my logo in here on the side and I think it looks super cute I wanted to add my logo somehow I just um, because my logos are made for hats I didn't know how to add them but again it still says the CJ there so I like that then I added these pool tab I couldn't fit it in the zipper because it's really tiny, the hole, so I got these, I mean I found these rings in my stash. I actually found this thing full of rings and stuff like that, so that was very handy. So I was able to attach the zip hole and then this is how the inside looks like and I'm super pleased with the result. I think they look so cute and this is something that all the girls are definitely gonna be able to keep and remember the time and also have something they will be able to use it's a pretty good size bag so they'll be able to do and use it for whatever they want I'm really really happy with how they turned out they look so good the finishes are really really good I'm very proud of myself and I feel like each of them it's gonna look even better than the previous one so yeah super excited I did with this one a couple of details that I didn't do with the first one with the pull tie and again the logo then the first the first one also looks super cute it's the pink one this one I didn't add the tag because I didn't think about it before so I'm probably gonna keep this one for me and the ones with the tag I will uh, give them but I'm obviously gonna also have one in my bag um, and I think it looks so cute this one also has a pull tag but this one doesn't have that detail that I did in here that looks more finished I don't know if you can see but I did like a little hem in here and this one doesn't but I, I did add that um, like anti-fry or whatever thingy so again this one's for me so not like it's gotta look bad if it's for me but it's the first one so yeah look at the bottom the sides i think they look so good i am actually very proud of myself for doing this look at that inside finishes are super good too super proud of myself so yes i have two i have six more to go to make and I think this is gonna be the end of today's vlog I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you liked this craziness <laughs> um, I'm gonna organize a little bit now because the kids are coming they're on their way and I wanted I wanted to cook something for their breakfast tomorrow and also have supper because I haven't eaten so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next vlog <laughs>